production. This is the CIF version of the Bear of the Brawls. Oh, no, do we have a new, game, new name now? Uh, Baller, Baller of the Game. Baller, Baller of the Match. Okay, yeah. cool. We're about to interview the uh, new record holder for most goals in the season, Natalie Mitchell. Natalie Mitchell. Come on, come on, come on. Here she is, here she is, here she is. Look at her strong. Oh, family, oh, family, yes. family. Yeah. Get that. First question. Okay. How does it feel to, feel, uh, to score um, child? One, two, doing? three, four goals right. in one CIF yeah. game. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Um, it feels fabulous. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Um. Also, let me ask. Um. How does it feel to break the school record? What's that? I, like? I feel amazing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't have words. All right. That's back all to the thing. studio. Now join us here on the Inland Sports Show. She is a goal-scoring beast for Temecula Valley, the Golden Bears. Natalie Mitchell, Temecula Valley, making a run in the CIS Southern Section Division I playoffs. Natalie, uh, first off, congrats. First round win. And I think this is correct. Please correct, correct me if I'm wrong. You had four goals in that, in that first playoff win, and now you have 30 on the season. Is that right? Yes, thank you. We are super excited about our first round game. So four goals. What was what was going right for you in that Golden Bear offense in that game? Um, my like attacking forward and midfield was just like playing off the walls. They were playing me such good balls. It was mostly them. So how do you keep it up? How do you keep this thing going and, and keep you know stringing together a couple wins and, and make a run to the championship game? Um, we got to keep our our lower classmen in it and just keep everybody like super excited and ready to play. I think they are the reason we all want to win. We want to do it for them. And so if we just keep them engaged, it'll be it'll be worthwhile. Now, obviously, you guys know you have a, a great squad. But in that first playoff win, were you guys able to maybe even build a, a little bit more confidence, I, I guess you could say, going forward through the playoffs? Do you feel like even more you know, confident about your championship uh, you know, opportunities? Uh, definitely. We were the highest scoring game in the first round. So that kind of... That's really nice to go into the next round knowing like we put up eight goals and the most I think anyone else scored was three. That feels good. Yeah, that was obviously uh, you know big time for you guys to to get that first round playoff win and do it with so so much offense in that game. Um, going into Wednesday night second round playoff game, what are some areas that you feel like this team can maybe still even improve upon to to get another playoff win and keep advancing? I think we just need to keep playing pretty soccer and connecting passes. Um, we put together a lot of scrappy goals, but it'd be nice to, you know, play clean and fast. Now, when you say scrappy goals, do you mean like knocking in a loose ball in front of the net as opposed to maybe like a beautiful 30 yard free kick right into the upper 90? Like what, what yeah. kind of, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah. We just want like, we want to connect more passes and before we take the shot type thing. So Natalie, um, you know, I know you're not maybe big on the individual stats, but you hold the record now for goals, right, at Temecula Valley? Mm -hmm. Does it just blow you away sometimes? Do you think about that and say, like, wow, I've got more goals than you know anybody in the history of the school? Um, or, like you said, is it just maybe a credit to the, to the players around you and maybe the coaching you're receiving? Um, I think both. It's just kind of crazy. It's not really something you think about, and then it's kind of there. And so I think, like, now that we kind of hit it, it's just moving forward. How can we keep winning? All right, Natalie, so obviously three goals is a hat trick. So how many times can you remember in your soccer career have you had at least three goals in one match? Um, I would maybe eight games, eight-ish. It's not super common. And, and what's, what's the, the most you've had in a game? You had four in that first playoff win. Uh, what's the most you've, you've had in your career? Maybe, maybe even going back to like youth club days or something like that. I mean, maybe in a rec, quite a few, more than four. But <laughs> recently, four is the top. That was a, that, Obviously, that was a great game. Four goals for you guys to, uh, to win in the first round and advance in the CIF Southern Section playoffs. It sounds like, based on practice behind you, you guys are really enjoying this ride. Um, how, how fun ha has this been? I know you're a senior. Are you trying to soak it all in? And how fun has this been? It's been awesome. I love this team so much. Um, our locker room is so fun. I think that's kind of what brought us out and then our home environment for home games is the best all right so what's the message out there to maybe some of the fans in the temecula area you want to see everybody out there at temecula valley high school rooting you guys on yeah we want it to be loud we want to help support us and keep us winning 
Well, Natalie, congratulations on that first playoff win. Hopefully you guys can string together a couple more wins and uh, make a run to that championship match. Really appreciate the time. And congrats on the, uh, the goal scoring record, 30 goals and counting this season for Natalie Mitchell. So thank you, Natalie. Appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, that's Natalie Mitchell from Temecula Valley Girls Soccer here on the Inland Sports Show.